He says, praise him sun and moon and praise him all you shining stars. That's not just a poetic idea. That's really happening because stars don't just shine. Stars also sing. to see as no characters if you spare a little of your imagination it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter
God has his own string section. He's beautiful. And we just looked at one 11 times a second pulsar and 16 millisecond pulsars, and you start seeing Psalm 48 come to life. The first time I saw sonal luminescence was in a darkened room. I was transfixed to look at this uh, spherical flask of fluid. And you'd look into the center, and in the center see a, uh, a glowing blue-purple light, uh, which could be seen with the unaided eye. It looked like a star in the heavens. This star in a jar is made when a sound wave is passed through a small bubble inside a flask of liquid. And this sound wave makes the bubble do something remarkable. First it expands, then it collapses. And this collapse happens so violently that vapor molecules trapped inside the bubble slam together and heat up so much that the bubble gives off an incredible burst of heat and light several thousand times a second, giving the appearance of a star. by a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius and photographed them under a microscope. Beautiful structured ice crystals appeared and they even appeared to be all different depending from which water they were taken. But the most revolutionary discovery was done as water was exposed to music. Water exposed to music showed beautiful crystals. seeing Psalm 48 come to life but look down in verse 7 it says praise the Lord from the earth you great sea creatures in all deeps the, the whale songs could sound like this right here take a listen we don't know the expanse of the worship that is continually surrounding the throne of God what I'm going to do is I'm going to levitate some water.
And we'll begin with simply the concentric patterns in the water as the frequency begins. Every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance, such as that moment right there. And in that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. And watch what happens. As we reach uh, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again. And look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here is a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved the vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet. He's not banking on our songs because he is surrounded by a symphony that's bigger than our wildest dreams tonight. Stars sing and whales sing and the birds fly. And I just tried to imagine what would it sound like if you could just for a second be God and hear what he hears. And I can't get us there tonight, but I, I came close. I had a friend who helped me with this little iPad program. And, and, and I'm not a DJ, but I, I just a, a little thing just quickly. And I, I want you to see how this works. what happened. This is what they might be singing. Just you and the whales. Just you and the whales. 